Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. Now in this video, I am going to demonstrate step by step installation of Windows Server 2012, the standard edition version R2 on Oracle VirtualBox. Before we start with the installation part, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding Windows Server 2012. Microsoft Windows Server 2012, codenamed Windows Server 8, is the sixth release of Windows Server editions. It is a server version of Windows 8 and succeeds Windows Server 2008 R2. Two pre-releases, that is a developer preview and a beta version, were released during the development. Basically, if we talk of the release dates, the initial release date to manufacturing was August 1, 2012, about three years ago and the general availability to the public by Microsoft of Windows Server 2012 was done on September 4, 2012. Windows Server 2012 has four flavors. The first flavor is known as Foundation, the second is called Essential, the third Standard Edition and the fourth one is called the Data Center. Before we proceed with the installation, let me tell you that we in this video we will be installing the standard edition. Why not foundation and essential because these were the basic releases and we don't have the data center so we will be focusing on standard edition also. So if you talk of features, you can say it is having good installation options in which you can switch between only the server core and server with the GUI. So what it is all about, I will be demonstrating you in a couple of minutes when we will be starting the installation. Second point which we call is a user interface. It is having the same interface like Windows 8 which uses Metro based user interface unless you don't install the server core mode. And it is having the Windows PowerShell also. Task Manager, if we talk of, it's very advanced and it, sh it will show you all the performance tabs of CPU, memory, disk, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, everything with the graphs. The next point if we talk of is IP address management that is IPAM. Windows Server 2012 has an IP address management role for discovering, monitoring, auditing and managing the IP address space used on corporate network. And like any other server, it also supports you with proper monitoring of DNS and DHCP servers. And both IPv4 and IPv6 is supported. Now, if we talk of Active Directory, which any server should have, Active Directory is not being installed with DC promo command. We will be using some tools and management in order to install it. The next feature is called Hyper-V in which Microsoft has fitted up the virtualization software so that you should be able to install some VMware machines. And the most important feature which according to me is regarded is that that is REFS file system like we have NTFS and FAT system in Windows operating system. Windows 2012 is having the REFS file system which is known as resilient file system REFS code named Protocon. It is a new file system initially intended for file servers which even improves NTFS in some respects. So if you want to have more on REFS, just go to Wikipedia or search on google.com, you will be finding out. So before we start the installation, let me tell you that Windows Server 2012, you can even download its trial version from Microsoft. You can see a website which has been already been opened and you can find all the technical previews and business cases. And if you want to download, go to this link and you can click over here as a download and now you can find out. So if you click on the system requirements, you can find all the system requirements and here are the all the install instructions. Okay, so now let us don't waste our time and let us go with the installation part. Now as you can see, I'm having the ISO image which has already been downloaded. So if I right click over here and click on properties, it is about 3.44 GB. So let us start the Oracle VirtualBox. So let us click on new. So let us type Windows Server 2012 standard. So it has already been set to Microsoft Windows and version is version 2012 64-bit. So let's click next. So let's allocate the RAM which is about 2 GB. So I'm having 8 GB of RAM. So 2 GB will not be a problem for me. So click on next. So now we have to create a virtual hard disk. So it is defaultly showing 25 GB which is enough. So let's click create. So hard disk type will be VDI image. So it, let us take a default, click next. So dynamically allocated, don't choose anything. So click next. And now we have to browse this. So let us go to E drive, to my virtual machines. And now let us give one folder. Windows Server 2012 
standard addition so let's click save and now click create so now you can see that the machine has powered on and now let us click on start so now we have to browse the ISO image so here you can find so let's click this browse button and now on the desktop you can find this ISO image so click on open and click start so let us give view and full screen mode so now you can see that the files are loading and you can find that almost all the steps of installation of Windows Server 2012 is like Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 2000 Server 8, etc, etc. So no need to worry about that. So language to install, this is the opening page, language to install, English United States, time and currency, I'm living in India, so I just change it to English India. And keyboard input will be English India itself. Let us close this also. So let's click next. And now just click on this link called install now. So now you can see that the startup has started and about if you are if you are having a good processor so here uh, you can have a good processor with that so it will take only 10 to 15 minutes installation so now it is demanding me a product key so let us me pause the video and enter the product key and I will return with the video once I so now you can see that I have already entered the serial key so now it has uh, given me two options that is windows server 2012 standard server core installation and windows server 2012 standard server with a gui so i don't recommend you to install server core because it will not be installing any gui you can see over here and you just click over here with a server with gui so that a proper server can be installed and you can work with graphical options but with server core you will be only working with the powershell so let's click next and now this is a license term so let's I accept the license terms click next so as I'm installing the fresh copy so click on install windows only advanced so now you can see that the drive space is unallocated. so click on drive options click on new I just only want one partition you can create two or three partitions or whatever disk you want to have so I just will be creating one partition okay so click on apply click on ok so now the partition has been created so click on next so you can see that the windows has started installing and once we finish the installation we will be getting back with the video till then we pause the video so now you can see that it has almost done with 95 percent and uh, it has taken me about three to four minutes because 2 gb ram is much enough for uh, windows server 2012 to get installed so it will just take one or two minutes So it is almost with the finish. So let's restart. So click on restart now. So don't do anything, it will be booting from the hard disk drive. So you can see it is almost having Windows 10 logo. So Windows Server 2012 is uh, regarded as one of the best operating systems in server management and uh, Windows Server 2016 has also come. So in the coming videos I will be also covering Windows Server 2016. So it, I think so it has uh, taken some display. Let's wait. So now you can see that it is saying getting devices ready. Now the GUI will welcome us. So I think so the server has restarted. We just have to wait.
So restarting the system is but natural because it is installing some inbuilt drivers and plug and play devices. So you just have to relax and sit back. The setup will take care of the rest. It is whole automatic. So now you can see that uh, the settings have come and we have to give the administrator password. So let me enter the password of administrator, the super user. So let's click finish. So now you can see that it is finalizing your settings. So it is just taking about uh, 5 to 10 minutes max with 2 GB of RAM and Core i7 processor to get installed, started up and giving you the full user interface. So it will take some time in the first run. So we just have to wait, not much wait. So now you can see that the welcome screen has come and now let us go with this input and keyboard and insert control alter Dell. So now let us give the administrator password and voila. So now you can see that the Windows Server 2012 has booted up and we can see the server manager dashboard and everything is being set. So in this video, I have made you understand how to download Server 2012, what is actually meant by Server 2012, how to install it on Oracle VirtualBox and what are the basic settings and what are the basic, uh, you can say, uh, commands which are to be done in order to install Windows Server 2012. So I hope you like this video. So do give it a like on uh, my YouTube channel and uh, keep on waiting and uh, you can see that lots and lots of things we will be discussing in near future regarding Server 2012. Thank you. So